In this video, I'm going to talk to you about caching and particularly what is caching. So what is this term that people use uh, whenever they say that a page has been cached or uh, some data has been cached? So before you can understand caching, you need to understand what happens when you request a web page. So let's say that you go to a website and you go to a URL and you press enter in your browser. Well, then you as the browser or the computer, the client will make a request. So a request is made to the server and the server is responsible for knowing what you are requesting and then giving you back a response. So the client makes a request and the server returns a response. So typically when we talk about caching, we're talking about a cached response. So let me go ahead and just give you a quick example. Uh, let's say that you go to a website.com and you press enter. I'm going to act as the server. So you visited some website.com slash ABC. And then I, as the server, I get that request from you and I'm going to make this pretty easy. So let's say that my application does a simple math problem. So it does five plus five. So as the application, I need to perform that functionality. So this is the functionality that I need to perform. Five plus five equals and simple enough, it equals 10. So this is the response that I will get back. So you just made a request to the server and then I gave you this response as after I did the five plus five. So let's see what happens if you make that request again. So you go to website.com slash ABC. So the server gets that request and I know, okay, I have to do the same math problem. So I have five plus five again and you get your response back. So typically when we cache, we actually are caching the, the cache response. So I already know what I'm going to give you once you request that page. So I'm just gonna store this little guy in something called temporary storage, also referred to as cache. So you go to the website again, you go to website.com slash ABC. Me as the server, I get your request. And I say, hey, I know what the response is. Bam. And I give it to you right away. So whenever I cache a response, I can quickly give it to you. And it's less time consuming on the server. If you have a whole bunch of requests coming to your application, the server could get bogged down. But if you have a lot of cache responses, it's going to be able to serve it up to your users faster. And it's not going to be as heavy on your server. So that is caching in a nutshell. It's a pretty simple concept. It's basically just the server storing a temporary file. And once the client makes a request, the server can then give a quick response. So the client's happy, the server's happy, and everybody's happy because we have cache files. So I hope that clears up a few things for you, and I will talk to you later.